also as a little bonus feature here at Agritech 2023. On a final note, as we leave this impressive show, we thought we'd come over to Mercedes-Benz and have a little bit of a closer look at the Unimog range. Now here's to show us around it and explain what's going on here. It's Klaus. Klaus, yeah. thank you. Hi, Simon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Susa. So I will give you a short introduction about our highlights of the Unimog. What is special here, you see here the typical EU tractor. Yes, sir. Our strongest and uh, heaviest Unimog with 350 horsepower is a 500 series. Right. And you see this huge cage, it's mandatory for the EU tractor registration. Right, okay, so a, a ROPS frame, safety yes. frame, yeah, 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 yeah. Safety frame. Right. And here you see we have, of course, all the agriculture features which you need. So we have front lift, as you know. Yeah. We have all the hydraulic connections here, circuit Excellent. one and two, and even a front PDO. Oh, I see, wow. And uh, isobus connection. So, oh, see, so isobus at front. Isobus in front. Oh, that's excellent. That really yeah, is, yeah. It? And as you can see, we have also the LED lightning here to have a proper lighting in evening time work and so on in the fields. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Excellent. And also special on this, which we can't see unfortunately, is a new comfort steering. Okay. It's an electro hydraulic steering. Right. That means you can turn it with one finger on a dime, you know? Okay. <laughs> so, Even with the huge tires. So it's variable rate. So it's, yeah. it's, it's, all right, yeah. excellent, wow. So it Brilliant. supports your forces. Then we have a load sensing hydraulic here. Okay. We have here, of course, you can external. External controls, yeah. This is well equipped machine, aren't they? Yeah. Very, very <laughs> well equipped machine. Absolutely, absolutely. This is our, and even we have a tire pressure control system. Okay. Which is speed related. That means, to be on the safe side, when you leave, for example, the field and go on the road, mm -hmm. usually sometimes the drivers forget to pump up again. Yeah. So it's speed related. That means if you over exceed it, it goes automatically up with the tire pressure. Check. Wow. Yeah. Now, does it deflate it when you go back in the field? Yeah. All right. Okay. Good. Then, you have, of course, you have on the side the connections. There's the air blue tank. We have also side lightning, and also the Unimog is famous to put off on these poles here. Right. You can't see it, you can take off it easily, right, lift yeah, it yeah. up, and use it for other applications. So it's like a container system. Yeah, yeah, yeah very like good. this. So very furthermore, superb. furthermore, we have here the rear, and on the rear you see we have all the agriculture features which you will need to connect your implements, starting to make it life easier for safety reasons. We have a camera system. It makes it a lot easier for hitching stuff. Yeah. Exactly. You can put away the hitches to the side if you have only the trailer on it. Right. We have here the Bowl 80 coupling system combined yep. with 2 times 50. Uh, this provides you a tow, uh, tow uh, weight of 3 tons. Wow. Of course, we have dedicated agriculture connectors. Right and the leak oil get summed or collected in a small box, you know? Right, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. To avoid any contamination. Yeah, right, yeah. And Four also... Spools. Yo. We have all the electrical connections here, which you need, ABS connector, electrical. And as well here, our PDO, oh, it's located here, you see it, because this one is height adjustable. Yes, sir. The lower bowl, bowl 80 is uh, fixed. Yeah, of course, we don't, we don't have that in the UK. We should have it in the yeah. UK. Yeah. But that's a, that's a, a feature I we don't see. I, I know your UK cu hook coupling systems. Yes. I know this. Yes. Also nice. Yeah, pick a bitch. Yeah. Not so so the coolers, don't get worried about the coolers. This cooler is especially for the, to support the hydrostatic drive, to cool down the mm -hmm. oil, yes. the hydraulic Absolutely. oil. And to, ev to have even more capacity, we have even added a second cooler here on the right side, oh, right, okay. which provides additional 7 kilowatt co cooling capacity. Oh, Christ, that's a, that's a, that's a big, that's a big yeah. chunk of cooling right there. <laughs> <laughs> All electric fans on everything, yeah. Yeah. And here you see this, the leak oil gets collected here. That's from the spool valve. Exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. easily removable, yeah. easily emptyable. Yeah. Yeah. And well, let's turn out. around to the left side. Another yeah, highlight is on the left side. I'm following you, sir. Okay. <laughs> so we have here... Lots of people coming around on the Mercedes stand <laughs> this morning as a horse fill up. We are using, uh, on purpose, alloy tanks due to the fact we are operating at low speeds. 
So due to the common rail system, you have a lot of full backflow, which get heated up, you know. Yeah. And hot fuel doesn't provide the power. No. So to cool down, a alloy tank is a, like a cooler, you know, for the gas oil. It's like a, like a milk tank in a dairy. <laughs> And furthermore, to like make uh, life easier for the drivers, you don't need any tooling for dirty work. You can easily open here your coolers to clean it up because Excellent. we have here an air hose connection directly here bef behind before the door. Before blowing it out? Yeah. Really good. Well designed. What we'd expect from Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> and as an option, you can get a switchable van behind. So in an interval of 10 minutes, it blows, blows out it the out. Reversible yeah. fan. Yeah. Wow. And we have here the air intake for the engine. Right, nice and high. Yeah. With a cyclone pre-filter. That means all the smaller particles mm -hmm. get already filtered out before it's entering spelled. the main yeah, filter. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in the main filter, we have a second cyclone. To Keep it even cleaner. So yeah. basically you're reducing the amount of maintenance required on the exactly. actual main air filter. And this provides us a service interval every 1400 operating hours. Right, so that's a big, big service yeah. interval. On, yeah. a, on a hard working machine, that's a lot yeah. of big service yeah. interval it is. I love the paintwork by the way, the, yeah, graphics. Nice. the graphics. So, and here to have it, here is for the wiper here, water, and you have all the fluids here as a side. When you enter the vehicle, you can easily spot it, cooling, and hydrostatic drive here. Yeah, very, very impressive. So, right. let's go to the next highlight. Please follow me. Thank you, sir. Let's have a look. Very nice. I'd say the show's filling up a little bit already this yeah. morning. We didn't think there was going to be so many people on, yeah. on, on the way out, but I think it's today is family day. It's, it's family day, so the busiest day usually. Is it? Eric <laughs> yeah. So today you'll get all the young kids with the sticky fingers yes. clambering <laughs> all over your beautiful trucks. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, it's okay. But they're so tomorrow's let's... customers, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's customers. Yeah, yeah. Future customers, you yeah, see? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So let's go to the next highlight. Excellent. Uh, this is a 300 horsepower version of the Unimog. Right. Also a six cylinder inline engine. Yeah. Kamen rail, Euro 6, of course. Mm -hmm. Though we fulfill the current emission standards. So this one is uh, without the huge cage, dedicated right. for Germany. So we don't need the heavy cage in right. Germany for the registration purposes. Okay. But you see also the additional headlights here. And we equipped it, of course, with a so-called butterfly mowing combination right. uh, from Krone. From Krone, very good, very good product indeed. Yeah, and you see we have already connected with the front PDO and also the power lift here on the side. That's also actually interesting to look at because the, 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 the Unimog has a slightly unconventional layout. So to see how it's all put in there and how it all nicely fits yeah. is actually a great, this is a great demonstration yeah. of it. And you see we even have a front camera here to uh, make it for the single driver easier to connect it here mm -hmm. in these lashes, you know, because we put the front uh, front three point lift yeah. here on this mounting plate. Right, I got you. So it makes it easier. You have a camera system inside the vehicle here, and so oh, you can yeah. easily spot it. So let's move over to the right side okay. and have a look on the rear. Yes, sir. So in principle, we have all the 